Hello all, today in this video, I am going to provide an implementation of the uh, SPM that is support vector mission which is uh, a mission learning algorithm which is meant to classify. Uh, so previously if you see me in our video, uh, we have made the support vector mission and also an linear kernel function with the linear. So in this code we are using some other kernel function which is RDF. So now uh, RBF. So now we can just uh, move to the libraries. Uh, so this library, this code we have since already we have seen in some other uh, video. You may know that uh, the first step is the importing of the libraries such as the pandas, then sklearn. From the sklearn, uh, we are just using the train test split and also the uh, SVC and moreover we would have called metrics that metrics you can see in the next uh, coming lines of code uh, so now we can just see uh, just run this code so it will be uh, just we have displayed the imported the libraries then we can import the data set so that is uh, here we are using the iris data set which is an csv extension since it's csv we are using read underscore csv to uh, read the iris data set or load the iris data set so it is also running then we are just calling the features and labels of the iris uh, data set in the x and y label and then by using the train test split we are just calculating a training variable that is x text y train uh, x train y train and also testing variable like x test and y test so here the test size that is the testing percentage is 10 percent for testing and the 90 percent for training training but I am just giving it as a 2 if you need some other percentage means you give the desired percentage as you need it so here I am just giving 2.2 .2 since I need the testing percentage as 20% and the training percent as 80% so now I am running the code so the, now the splitting of the x train x test y train y test has been done so now we can train and test the SPM class classifier by using the rdf kernel uh, so in this uh, first we are just calling this svc uh, support vector mission library and in that we are just calling the kernel rdbf and then we are training the model by using the fit function in training we are using the variables such as the x train and the y train and uh, then we are just testing the model by using the predict function next we are just displaying the accuracy to display the accuracy uh, we are just uh, in using the variables like x test and y test and this accuracy we are displaying the accuracy we are get in this model is 1.0 now after displaying the accuracy uh, other uh, in an uh, classifier you may know there are some other uh, performance metrics other than accuracy which is uh, precision recall and f1 score so in order to find that i am just uh, uh, using this uh, matrix function uh, library and in that I am just using the classification report and calling the variables like y test and y pred. So we got the very values of the variables like precision, recall, f1 score and support. Uh, so I am just running. So you can see our uh, all the values is 100% that is 1 means 100 0.99 is 99% uh, so here why I am working with the different kernels because if uh, uh, in this data set uh, it is getting the maximum 100% in some other data set it may won't so if you are working with the different kernels means we can get different va uh, variations of accuracy to show that only I am just uh, working with the different kernels in the next video uh, we will show the same code with the kernel poly thank you